You already know what it is. It's your boy, Big Richie, Pod 22, baby. Coming to you live from 90 BC Studios. Nigga, this the Shop Talk. I'm out here with Eddie Bowles music. You already know what it is, nigga. Hit the motherfucking subscribe button. Let's go. Prime 22. <laughs> young, young seven makes splurge. Yours, bro, man. Yeah, man. One time for the blessings, two times for the credits. I'm nothing like I used to be. I am him, Eddie Bowles music. I am him. Hold me down or would you take it from music. me? We're Don't ever let them know you really get yeah. money. Cause I wanna see you lose and hope you get nothing. I'm just thinking about them times I wasn't here from you. Would you like it if I told you the feelings don't change? Alright, it's your boy. You already know what it is, Big Richie. I'm in here with your boy Eddie Bowles music, man. We out here just like I said. What's good? <laughs> hey man, Eddie Bowles music, man. I've been seeing you doing big things. Great things is popping up all over the place, but dog working with huge artists, man. How you feeling these days, man? man the I'm, most slept on I'm artists. I'm feeling blessed, bro. You know, like I'm thankful for every opportunity, whether it's small or big. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm on it. Like I'm, I'm feeling good, bro. His words can't even explain. That's. You already know how we coming. You already know how we bring it, man. Prime 22 bringing you the exclusive, man. We dealing with real deal artists these days. My dog gets pissed in. Hey, what's up? Talk to him. Underscore the world's greatest. www.eddiebowlesmusiccollection.com. That's my clothing line. Type Eddie Bowles Music. I'm, my name is, you know, copyrighted. So you type that in any way you want. It's going to only be one Eddie Bowles Music. Straight up, that's me. I am him. I have a show May 27 in Orlando, Florida. Snap season. I got one in the city of Sample, Florida, June 16. Showtime in Sample. Um, and then after that, man, you know, I'm open. Book me. Don't be afraid to book me. Let's talk numbers. <laughs> man, uh, so how long have you been doing music, sir? Uh, so, man, I've been, I started making music in 2003. But I got serious 2009, so I'm gonna claim 2009. 2009 to today, that's how long I've been rock and rolling. Okay, I love your music, man. You have these melodies, these these catchy uh, melodies, and you know different things that you do on the beat. How do you come up with these things? <laughs> I don't know, bro. It's just a gift to God that I have. Like I have a, I have a, I have an ear when it comes to music, and you know the sounds that I try to portray is the sounds that I want to be unique and creative. Like give the world something that nobody else could do at that point of time to make a person keep that song on repeat. So I just listen, I let my soul like listen to the instrument instrumentals like I'm living with the instrumental. And I just I don't know, bro, it's it's the gift of gap. Like Alright, do you have a, a favorite artist? Right now I don't have no favorite artist, because if I had a favorite artist, I'd be naming a thousand people right now. So I would say I, I am a I am a fan of great music. Real life stories, music that's gonna be a, a trendsetter for life, inspiration for life. That's what it is. And if you could work with anybody right now in the music industry, who would you like to work with? I wanna double back and work with Young Blue, man. You know what I'm saying, Boosie. Um, I wanna work with Ty, Ty Dolla Signs too. There's so many artists, bro. Tim's, so many artists, dog, that I wanna. Wiz Khalifa. You feel me? Like unique artists that that don't get played at every day. Tell, them, tell us a little bit about some of the places that you perform. Do you know like all the states you done been to, man? Like I know you it done been crazy, dog. You've been everywhere. Indianapolis, Indiana, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, uh, Miami, Orlando, of course, Sanford, of course. I had a tour like many years ago in Times Square, New York. Nice. Times Square, New York. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay. Man, you got all this attention coming up right now, all this hype, man. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Next five years, I'm going to be old. <laughs> Hopefully married with beautiful children and a family. Sending the ladder back down to a young person that's trying to get it like me. I ain't trying to make music forever, even though this is my baby. I'm trying to be an inspiration. I got different videos that I'm trying to do, like have my own podcast, release my book. You feel me? 
Like, I still got my clothing line that I'm trying to get off the ground. So music is always gonna beat up, but that ain't my only focus. So like, next five years, I know I'm gonna be one of the greatest entrepreneurs like Master P. I just gotta keep, <laughs> you know, lining it up. Okay, I know you say that you're too, uh, when you said your influences in the bio, you said it was Boosie Badass and Master P. So would you call those your favorite artists? Nah, they ain't my favorite artists right now. I mean, I love them to death, but bro, there's so many great, great music out. You can't be a fan of just one person. When you got people like No Cap making great music, y'all said it. You feel me, Lil Papa, y'all said it. People like Lewis Cannon take all, y'all said it. You feel me? So like, it's too many people to keep up with to call your favorite artist. So much great music out here, bro. Like, I'm not a fan of one person when there's so much talent out here, bro. Like, but shout out to Boost and Master P. I learned financial literacy from Master P. I learned how to be open with myself listening to Boost because I learned from Boost a badass. He's not afraid to talk about the struggle and let people know why he the, the person he is today. Versus Master P, even though he went through the same circumstances, he he took his talent to somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? And, he, he learned something else like financial literacy. So that's what I'm on, you feel me? Like I ain't trying to be broke forever when I got a lot of stuff that I'm trying to do. So Boosty Badass and Master P are always gonna be my top two, but I ain't got no favor right now. It's too much good music out here, bro. I keep up with everybody. If they said that you sounded like anybody right now today, who do they, would they say that you sound like the most? Eddie Bowles music. <laughs> Eddie Bowles music. I, I don't try to sound like nobody before me, before anything. What I, what, when I portray my, my vocals in music, it's coming from my hurt, you feel me? So, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Like, I made music to talk to myself. I didn't know my music was gonna gravitate upon other people. I was making music to talk to myself to avoid from going into a depression stage, a mental breakdown, suicide, you know, feeling rejected not accepted in today's society. I ain't know my music was gonna gravitate upon other spirits that would allow them to be a fan of me. So when people say, oh, you sound like Woo the Woo, you sound like Woo the Woo, and I have to double back and let them know, like, before that, Woo the Woo was available to y'all to listen to. I was him, Eddie Bo's music. That's who I am today, let's go. Bo's music, man, what is the difference between getting success inside of your city versus getting success outside of your city? When you're doing it by yourself inside your city, nobody's gonna believe in, the, in your vision. You gotta take your talents outside the city in order to get where you wanna be. I learned that from a long time ago when I moved outside of my city, my comfort zone, my hood. Growing up, I thought seeing the prostitutes in the streets, the dope boys with the fancy cars and the rims, getting money just by selling drugs, that was the celebrity life, not knowing the bigger picture was outside of my city, outside of my comfort zone, so when I moved away, Biggest opportunities came from me from strangers. I, I, I kid you not, man. I, I shot you out every time I met Perez because you was the person that believed in me and nobody else did. And you was the first person that gave me an opportunity to come to a location that I never heard of, never been around, and I did my thing. So local artists gotta understand, it's okay to leave your comfort zone to make a name for yourself because if you depended on your city, it's like you trying to fight with crabs in a bucket. If everybody ate crabs in the bucket, who's gonna be the first one to crawl out to send the ladder back down? You don't know who I know. But you being a crab, you being a crab, you being a crab that's trying to hold me back because you're afraid of who I, who I become. And you don't wanna see me be better than you when you tell me every day, keep doing your thing. It just, it's not gonna work. So somebody gotta be the big person. So I knew I was different because I don't curse in my music. I don't call females the normal, the normal conversations. You know what I'm saying? Tricks, hoes, bitches. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't talk like that in my music. So I know I was different. I knew I wasn't gonna get the fans or the support from my city. But I took my talent somewhere else. And my city was like, damn, this nigga really done took off like that's what it is. Sometimes you. You can't be afraid to be different and leave your comfort zone. Local artists have a big problem with leaving their comfort zone because they're so impressed by pleasing people. And you gotta cut people off. Family, friends, associates, soul ties, all that. If you're trying to be successful, you gotta learn everybody is not meant to be with you. You feel me? So that's what it is. Are you currently seeing anyone? Seeing anyone like what? Are you in a relationship? Single as a dollar bill. I'm single, bro. 
Okay. What's up? Any prospects out there, man? What's going on? Talk to me, Doc. No, you know, it's, it's a few prospects out there. The draft, they coming along, you know what I'm saying? I got And they trying to lock you down now that they see you get after this walk? Man, of course, that's my call. It's people that I used to chase all the time. We talking like that? Like, let's talk about it. It's people that I, I used to try to Tom and Jerry all the time, chase all the time, and they ain't never want to give me the time of the day. That's in my DM, I'm so proud of you, or you handsome. Man, come on, on man. No, they call it you fine now. Come on, man, stop playing. Ah! <laughs> okay. Hey, man, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? What does Eddie Bowes do with his spare time? So, you know, uh, outside of the music life, uh, you know, I have a second image. Um, I'm a chef Eddie Bowes music. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're looking for a fine meal, you know, wings, oxtails, you know, turkey wings, collard greens, macaroni. Give me that type of vibe. Holla at me, baby. She trying to eat good on the on the on the on the late night. Holla at me, baby. For real, for real. That's what I like to do. Bro, I be in my bed at the crib, chilling. You feel me? Cooking, vibing. I'm not. It is crazy because I'm an artist, right? And you expect artists to be, you know what I'm saying, in the public, want to be around on every scene. But I'm not like that. I hate attention. And it's weird to say that because I'm an artist, right? I don't like people walking up to me. Uh, doing all this other stuff, got a camera. I don't rock like that, you feel me? I like being a homebody. I like being at the crib. I cook a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what's your favorite food then? Wings. What's your favorite thing? Wings. Chicken wings. Huh? Chicken wings. Chicken okay. wings. I don't care what type of. Do you have a favorite city? Favorite city? I love Atlanta. I love Atlanta. My boy Bigger Rankin tell me all the time, you need to be up here in the A, that's where that's what's gonna help break your name. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta is my second home. I tell everybody that. If you know me, you know it. Yeah, that boy love Atlanta. I love Atlanta. You feel me? Just because there's so many opportunities. Even though it's overpopulated, there's many opportunities that for everybody. What type of woman is Eddie Bowles looking for? If, you know, I know she's out there right now, ladies. He's single. You know, that being he's trying to mingle. Uh, what type of lady is Eddie Bowles looking for? I'm looking for her. Resemblance of my mom. If you ain't trying, if you're not bringing the resemblance of my mom, bro, you tripping. Like, man, I'm not hard to please. I just need a woman that's loyal, love God, very supportive, passionate. You know what I'm saying? Hold me accountable. Not being afraid to accept me for who I am. Like, that's all my mom gave me. My mom, she, she the, she the go. You feel me? So you ain't trying to bring that type of energy like my mom give me daily. Like, baby, I don't need you. <laughs> You can stay where you at. You can play patty cake, patty cake all you want, but uh, ain't no bakers man here. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Amanda Perez. You know, everybody should know about Amanda Perez with the hit single, God Send Me an Angel. Um, never knew she was a fan of my music, never knew she was following me on Facebook. Reached out to me a couple years ago and just like, bro, you the only one killed my single as a remake. I would love to have you come perform for me. Make a long story short, I'm in Indianapolis, Indiana, performing with Amanda Perez, kicking it with her. And at the time, you got it, had an artist there too. Um, but she one of the most humblest people I most ever came across. You know what I'm saying? And I thank God for Amanda Perez, because she was the first industry artist, the first artist major with a major name that gave me the opportunity. And, you know, like, it's just crazy how that worked out. Like, I'm opening up for Amanda Perez, and now she buying it. It, it, it was a movie, you know. Yeah, I think I thank God for it. I don't want to give out too much because I I was always told you ain't gotta always tell your blessings and stuff. You feel me? But just know I rock with a man of prayer, for real. Okay, give us a close, man. Give a shout out to anybody you want to give a shout out to. Tell us everything you want us to know before we close it up. Uh, I want to give a shout out to everybody who ruined for me from day one to now. Uh, if I if I, you know what I'm saying, point out different individuals, I feel like I'm leaving somebody out. So if you support me right now, I shout you out. I want to give a major thank you to you. Um, don't forget to follow me on all major platforms. You know what I'm saying? I have the most unique name ever, Eddie Bowes Music. You can find that on every platform, YouTube, Spotify, Twitter, Instagram, whoop the whoop. Follow me. Connect. Let's build something. I'm not the type of person you can't approach. I'm always willing to work with everybody. But you gotta be serious and you gotta be about your bag. Cause I don't work with just anybody, you feel me? So, um, major shout out to my family, 
You know what I'm saying? And most importantly, to God be the glory. I am him, Eddie Bowes Music. Let's get it. Grind don't stop, bro. Grind don't stop at all. Like, you gotta show the world why you why you that dude. Like, and I do that every chance I get. With God on my side, I'll never go. I am him, the world's greatest. Wildcats, class of 2016, Bethune Cookman University alum. That was the best experience I most ever had. I met some of the dopest individuals that I still got a relationship with today. Shout out to all my teachers that still hold me accountable to this day. It was very different and unique because I, I was around individuals who looked like me, talked like me, was after the same dream like me, so I had to figure out what what I had to do to survive. Cause, to set you apart. You know what I'm saying? So my HBCU is who I am today. That I thank God for Bethune Cookman University because it got me close with God. Show me who I am, why I'm great at what I do, why the people love me, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. All right, man, it's your boy, Big Richie, 90 Baby Cartel, bringing the teacher just like this, man. I'm in here with Eddie Bowles Music, man. That boy bringing the soul back to music. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't heard him, y'all need to go check him out. You gonna drop a website or something on him? Yeah, shout out to myself, Eddie Bowles Music. Check out my clothing line, www.edibowsmusic That underscore the world's greatest on all major platforms, Instagram, Facebook, you know, um, Twitter, that boys, boy. Yeah, let's get it. Yes, sir. Y'all better stay tuned, because the guy coming at you hot, man. He not playing around. It's hot, hot, hot music coming at you. New shit. Fuck with us, man. Prime 22. Something just gotta change, it's time to go the other way I'm praying for brighter days